Hello, Lilas. So, I am so silly. I had to stop the camera because I was like, um, I can't remember if these babies are prototypes or not. I didn't, I don't remember what the COA says. But nevertheless, I never feel like climbing up in the closet to get out their original stuff to see what it says. So, um, all I can tell you guys is there are Dwayne Awake and Dwayne Asleep, which were, um, sculpted by Claire Teller. And they were also actually painted by Claire Teller as well. So, with that being said, I am going to get started getting them dressed. Because I haven't did, did it in a while. As you can see, they're not even matching. I'm just going to put them on some sleepers. Just something simple. I'm going to start with her because she hasn't been dressed the longest. So I'm going to take this little guy. Let's see. I love the way he's weighted. I tell y'all that every time. I don't know. Are you going to be okay? Maybe I'll just let's see sometime. And I haven't like combed their hair or anything. Maybe I'll just like. There we go. Maybe he'll just hang off to the side like that for me for just a minute. Um. So yeah, our last video we left off, we were talking about, um, we were talking about pricing and how do we figure out if something is worth it and um, that type of thing. And the first thing I'm going to tell you is that anything you want is worth it. If you want it bad enough, it's worth whatever price you're willing to pay. Bottom line, if you can afford it or you can get it, you know. That's totally up to you. Um, me, I have somewhat of a system, which I break the code from time to time. Because like I said, if it's something that I really want, sometime I will go against my own system just because it's something I really want. Like, say for instance, I usually won't buy something if I know the, retail, the resale value isn't there. Um... And I know people say, oh, why do you buy with resale value in mind? Because when I get bored, which I often do, or not even just get bored, but even if I just want another doll and I go to thinking of what dolls I can sell, if I got a whole bunch of dolls in my collection that nobody else is willing to pay any money for or I'm going to lose 70% of what I paid, it's kind of not worth it, right? So... I try to keep that in mind when I buy a baby, but if it's a baby that's rare or a baby that I really want, I will get it. Another thing that I don't really stress too hard is when I'm spinning, um, I love the, um, the color pink that she chose for their feet. It's really real. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you look at the palm of if you look at my hand and look at their the bottom of their feet especially um on the boys you can see that it kind of just blend in it's a it's a um very good mixed color she makes that really nice um i love it um, one of the thing that's one of the things people um, tell me a lot is like, oh, you use similar colors as um, Claire Teller, and then you know what? People, um, I used to say when I got Claire work, um, another artist and her use similar colors. But what it is is that when you're going for realism, you're gonna use similar colors because you're going for realism. And when you've been around ethnic or African-American babies, you know what those colors look like. Anyway, nevertheless, um, back to the price thing because I'll get all off topic. But, yeah, so the other thing is, you know, you want to see what the dolls are normally selling for, what people, you know. And everybody is not going to tell you their price, which I don't blame them. That's a personal thing I don't like discussing my transactions with people you know I know a lot of people like to think that they're privileged to that information especially if you're 
like a YouTuber and stuff, people feel like you should be able to, you should, you have to tell your whole life to them. That is not the case. I'm going to do her hair last. I was going to do it now, but I'm going to get him dressed first so I can lay them, go ahead and lay them side by side and get her socks on. Um, but you know, it's like, you will see like in the forums when people put dolls up for sale, this is how you kind of tell what they're asking for the babies, what they, um, okay. So they're asking, I see they, they asking, you know, $2,000 for so-and-so dolls. Okay. Well, her dolls must be selling for somewhere close to that amount. This don't match. And these are not the right kind style. I'm just going to put on these for right now. Um, so you, you, that's how you get an idea. Not by PM somebody getting mad because they don't want to tell you how much they paid for their doll. Um, you, when you see what dolls are selling for, now don't just go by what they ask for. See how fast they sell. If they keep asking for that and they just keep sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting and then they drop it, drop it, drop it, then that means the price is closer to in between what they're asking, blah, 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 blah that type thing so it's a tricky thing um especially when you're new but for me i feel like the main thing is go with your gut if you feel like that's too much if you don't feel it in your heart like sometime i can look at a baby and i'll be like oh man i love that baby and then i'm like and then the artist will be like oh yeah i want four thousand dollars for it and i'll be like Mm -mm, I don't love it that much. Or if I be like, dang, I wish I had $4,000. Then I know it's worth it to me. Because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to come up with that money. It's not about, oh, it's too much. It's just, let me see how I can get those coins. So, you know, it's this is a, a very emotional hobby. And I know that a lot of people play on that as well. Um, they know that we are addicted to the dolls. So... You know, I know there was um, a collector that put a post up about price and she was saying basically how, basically f just asking if other people felt like Reborns, the price of Reborns have gotten to be ridiculous and or too much or too high or whatever. And she was saying because now the price of the Reborns are almost the same as a lower end silicone baby. And... You know, I know a lot of artists got offended. They were upset. And I understood both sides of the story. You know, being that you paint and you're trying to sell your dolls. And, you know, that's why it's very hard for me as a YouTuber now to really get into certain topics. Because it's like, gosh, you know, I don't want to say too much because I need to sell my dolls too. Sure, I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, I don't want to be, you know, putting my foot in my mouth either. Because I be feeling like, shoot, my baby worth for every penny that I'm asking for. Girl, what? period poo but <laughs> but then at the same time you know i i actually there's babies that i had been wanting and i started calling around too and one artist told me which now i see she's rooting again but one artist big time artist i messaged her about a baby and she was like her prices start at 1500 that's with painted hair or bald and that is like real borns and you know, even of that stage, not, uh, nature uh, blah, 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 status is not even gonna be a necessarily a limited edition kit. And you know, fifteen hundred dollars, you I ain't gonna even be able to brush through the baby hair, child. Uh uh. And then it wasn't even an ethnic baby, which, um. Just saying, when it comes to reborns, ethnic babies sell normally higher and faster than the um, the Caucasian babies. Um, second market. I'm talking second market. Oh my God, he's so cute. They so cute. Um. So, yeah. Um. But the, uh, so I was like, uh-uh, I can't do it. Sorry, sis. You know, I, you know, 
of course, you know, I don't be like, oh, that's too much. You know, you overcharging. No, your work is definitely worth it. But, you know, I just... It's a little bit out of my price range. Period, Pooh. I ain't, and I guess what? I'm not going to message that artist no more and ask them not one thing about their prices again because they already told me what it is. Unless they put out in a public forum that they got a special and the price is less. Look at these little feet. Oh, my God. The reborning on this baby is amazing. Um, You know... Then I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. But that's just the thing. You, you got to determine what's worth it for you. Like I, reborns don't hold value that good, no matter how good the artist work is, unfortunately. So usually I try hard to only buy reborns that I really, really love. And I try to, um, not spend over a certain number. That number kind of went up a little bit since the market has changed. But, um, and then at the same time, because my number is at a certain level, when I sell my dolls, I try not to, I try to keep my dolls at a, um, at a reasonable price as well. Um, you know, and I won't lie, you know, it's hard when you're selling your dolls and you collect dolls too and you see what other people are selling their dolls for and you see what their dolls look like versus your dolls and vice versa and I'm not just saying on the end of my dolls looking great I mean there's dolls that look you know nicer than my dolls of course um, people have been painting a lot longer they are more skilled you know there's different levels to this art you know, um, certain skin tones, they might have, you know, down more than me, et cetera, et cetera. But then there's some that I know that my dolls look better and have more realism to them and so on and so forth. So, you know, you kind of like rate yourself when you, when you see this stuff and then it's kind of hard to not want to up your price because you're like, man, they getting this, why I ain't getting it, you know, type thing. So I've been trying to fight those demons because <laughs> that's, you know, that's not fair to the collector because then it becomes the very thing that I talk about all the time. It's an ego thing. We start paying for people egos, you know, people see what people sell for on, um, on eBay and stuff like that, or their bids and offers and all that, you know, because the artists, they love to post my doll sold for $7,000 and all this and stuff. And so, you know, you know, the silent auctions aren't really silent because they be bragging about those prices or, you know, throwing those prices out there. Um, so, you know, and it, it as when you paint and stuff, you be like really they paid that for that type thing or something like that or or you'd be like oh that's nice but my dolls are nice like that why don't I charge that amount so it's it's hard not to to you know have that mindset but anyway what well, let me see where I'm at because I'm just talking to child but yeah but yeah um but yeah, so price is just it's just very hard. It's not a, a set set thing. You gotta go with what you what you wanna pay. What you willing to pay. Cause I, I mean like for me the average the price that I got is like the average price what I see a lot of the big time artists is they're starting starting at fifteen hundred. Um the Average collector, they're starting at about 800, 900. Um, I feel like my dolls are a little bit above average, but I still kind of keep my prices in the average price range until I, you know, I don't know, until I get this 
feeling that I need to just go crazy and up it or whatever, I don't, I feel like my price is where it needs to be. It's not too high, it's not too low. And this, so I guess this video is kind of like, you know, for sellers and and buyers, you know, you pricing your, your, your babies and also if you're trying to buy babies. And, you know, a lot of people be like, I don't like people to lowball me and stuff like that. I don't mind when people make offers to me. You know, if they make a ridiculous offer and I know they're trying to be funny, then I laugh too. Because it'd be real funny because guess what? The answer going to be no, so I don't care. It don't bother me none. But shoot, sometimes you don't never know. You you might want, wish somebody, you might have a baby that ain't selling and you might wish somebody make you an offer. So I don't ever put that out there and be like, don't, don't, you know, don't come lowballing me and all that and don't come, you know, I don't, listen, because I'm always trying to get something for the low. So if you, if they contact me and be like, hey, I'll give you X, Y, Z for this, I'm just going to tell them yes or no and move on. I ain't mad at you, poo. But guess what? I'm only going to sell for the price that I'm willing to sell for. Period, poo. And you only going to buy for what you're willing to pay. And if you really like the doll, but this is what you willing to pay and you want to make it known just in case, why miss the opportunity? You never know. You never know what the person might say. You know, it's like, I'll pay more for like, Say, for instance, like these dolls. These dolls, to me, is worth more money as Reborns because how many Reborns are out there that Claire Teller has painted herself? Exactly. So, to me, whatever price she said was going to be okay with me because... As long as I can afford it now, child. Now, let's not be, let's not, let's not act like I got all this money in the world that it's like, I'm going to give you $20,000 for a reborn. But you know what I mean, within reason. So, yeah, so, it, you know, because I know the value of the doll. I also know that because of its rare form, if I ever needed to sell them, I'll get my money back. I'll definitely get my money back, but I hope to not have to ever sell them. They're so beautiful. I just, I absolutely love the painting on them. And I love, I, I just, I love, love the idea of having twins now. It's like, I don't know how I'm not gonna buy two of everything. I love this little guy. I'm so cute. I don't wanna put it, I was trying to put them up like this. Look at you, two little bouncing babies. Oh my goodness. She's so stinking adorable too. You guys, oh, you can't put your hair in his face, mama. All right, there we go. Oh, don't put your feet on your sister. It's just rude. Don't be like your mama, your mama rude. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I don't think the light is doing them any justice, but let me see if I can. Oh no, probably not. But I'll take some pictures, guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, my name is the same on Instagram, and I'll post plenty of pictures there. But yeah, those are my sweet babies. Oh my goodness, and it's kind of cool because. They're like close to my my actual skin tone too, so that's I I love that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.